get to more phone calls co- coming up. Johnny Avello is the director of DraftKings Sportsbook Operations. In other words, he knows how to gamble. And uh, what do you think about my pick there, Johnny? I got the Chargers Packers in the Super Bowl. Dan, you were all over the place. So I don't know which one was actually your pick. <laughs> no, but... no, it's Chargers Packers. I had to give okay. you I had to give you my reasoning for how I came to that conclusion. I understand. No, okay. that, that, that's a, that's a good pick. Uh, you know what? You're you're staying away from all the chalk, uh, which is usually a good thing to do. Uh, you know, I, I, you mentioned the Bills. You know, the Bills have just run across hard times for so many years, and so many things have gone wrong. Uh, they certainly have the talent to get there, but uh, yeah, you know, Tom Brady won a Super Bowl so many times, and you know, it it wasn't always. Uh, because they were the better team, it's because they were fortunate. And that's the way I see it. You have to be fortunate. Good luck has to come upon you to win the Super Bowl. Okay, but would you rather go, like all the money is going towards Buffalo right now, right? The, the, correct. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Buffalo's our number one uh, choice for to win the Super Bowl. And, and what's your pick? Uh, I'm a bookmaker. I'm not supposed to be picking teams to win. I'm just supposed to be booking the action. No, seriously, um, I, I've i bet Buffalo in the past, uh, but I got to bet much better odds than five and a half to one. So I, I think Buffalo is the team to beat, but that is such short odds. You can't, you can't take that price at this time during the season before we've even had a snap. Um, there are some teams out there, I think, you know, longer shots that you know, could have, you mentioned the Ravens. I think that's one, the Eagles, you didn't mention, mm. um, you know, the, the unsophisticated and specific sophisticated betters, uh, both are on that team to win the, uh, NFC East. So, uh, you know, that could also be a pick and, you know, the Vikings, if the Packers don't materialize, they're always, there's always a chance there. I wouldn't go much further down the line though, than the Patriots at 50 to one. So that that includes teams like the Raiders, the Cards, the Titans. Uh, you know, all those teams have an outside shot. Is there a is there a Bengals team this year that you see? Uh, I I like the season last year. Can they you know do the similar thing? Uh, you know, only lose games by your losses are three points or less. I don't know. Uh, the but is Steelers there a team some- that will be this year's Bengals? Uh, that's a hunt. Well, the Bengals were about 125 to one at one point last season. So who's going to uh, let's go with our our Las Vegas Raiders. Oh. Uh, they are not that type of price, but they are in that 40, 45 to one range. They have the pieces. I think it's up to Derek Carr. And I, how involved are you with setting the line as a, a bookmaker? Um. We have a large team, so I'm a consultant for the team now. Uh, you know, so I don't, you know, when when I had ran the bricks and mortars locations in Las Vegas, I only had a team of seven guys, so I pretty much primarily had to do all the work. But now that we have a trading team of 75 plus, wow. uh, we rely on a lot of other guys to to do the work in various sports. Give me the game that still haunts you as a bookmaker in Vegas. Um, that would be the uh, Seattle New England game with uh, Seattle on the one yard line. <laughs> and we have a decision of a couple million dollars to the plus for the house. Uh, and we know that we're, we know Seattle's win that game. They're just giving the ball to Lynch and he's running in. It's the end of the game. They elect the pass. And so that's a turnaround of uh, $4 million. What's it like when you lose a bet like that in the room? Uh, when you look in the room, the, if you have that type of decision, then the general public is on the opposite side. So they went absolutely nuts. Cause I was down in the room when that happened. Oh. Um, for the bookmaker, it's, if you've been in the business long enough, it's let's move on. Uh, we have another, not football game tomorrow, but we have a basketball game tomorrow. So, uh, you know, we start a whole brand new season bookmakers. You, you just don't cry. You just move on. How much money is on the Rams to repeat? Uh, th- they're not looking at the Rams this year. Um, 
the Rams are in the middle of the pack. So there's a lot of other teams above the Rams. The the Bills are ahead of the Rams. The Bucks are ahead of the Rams. Packers, um, you know, we already mentioned the Bills. Uh, Chargers. So the Chargers are actually one of the picks that are in the top three. So, uh, you know, they're not looking at the Rams repeating at least early in the season. But remember, these futures are up all season long and will be adjusted. They'll be up even while the games are being played. What's the best piece of advice you've given a better? Uh, stay within your limits. Uh, don't chase. You know, have a game plan. Do this for entertainment. I remember I'd bet college football, and if I lost, then I would go, I'd double up on the NFL on Sunday, and then I always had Monday night as a bailout, and that's what you mean by chasing, where – you, you know, you cut your losses, you have to swallow your pride and then just try to bet smart. And we rarely do that. Exactly. How did you feel after you lost that, you know, that double up bet? You didn't feel too good, did you? You know what, Johnny? I never enjoyed the win as much as I hated the loss. So when I won, it wasn't as big a deal. When I lost, that, that so the pain was, was something that always over would override the joy of winning. Yeah, I know there is pain in losing, but that goes for anything, doesn't it? Uh, why do you have a scale in the background there of your room? Well, that's an old scale, Dan, that I picked up at an antique store. It was in pretty bad shape when I got it, and I, uh, you know, got it to where it's, uh, you know, in, in good shape now. I don't need to weigh myself. I just thought it was an, a nice old, uh, old time looking scale. I thought it might have been from a, a weigh in at a at a Vegas fight, like Holyfield Tyson or something. Well, you, you, all right, Dan, I'll tell you the truth. It's it's how I weigh the money that we win on wow. Sunday. Wow. <laughs> you might need one of those scales where they weigh cattle, you know, where you can put something a little heavier on there, Johnny. Uh, yeah. Uh, have fun tonight, and uh, we appreciate your time. We uh, Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Dan. Have a good day. That's Johnny Avello. He is uh, the director of DraftKings Sportsbook Operations. He runs the book there, or at least helps them run the book.